Hello and welcome to the Scottish Farm Advisory Service vlog series in which we are following three farmers across the country as they try to plan their forage and feed supplies in order to reduce the risk of challenging weather. In the Scottish Borders we will hear from Joe Baker at Windshield Farm. Windshield Farm is an organic farm of around 200 hectares, about 900 feet above sea level in an area typically receiving about 740 millimetres of rainfall per year. With 740 ewes plus 200 hogs uh, tupped and 74 cows and heifers, all farmed organically, it's important to ensure there is sufficient supply of forage through the summer months but also into the winter months too. This year they have sown 22 hectares of whole crop consisting of oats, barley and vetch. There is 4 hectares of lucerne. There has been um, eight hectares of rye direct drilled into, into grass for deferred winter grazing. And then there is also 16 hectares of forage crops um, for winter grazing too. Tune in to hear from Joe and the other farmers to hear how their plans adapt as the season unfolds. And in the northeast of Scotland, we're going to be following Robert Marshall from Kincraigie Farms at Lymphannon in Aberdeenshire. He's farming over a thousand hectares, two and a half thousand acres, and he's got 500 suckler cows, along with 500 acres of spring barley, 110 acres of winter oats, 40 acres of winter rye, and 25 acres of beans. The beans are being grown for a protein crop. So they're going to be harvested and then fed to the cattle through the winter. They're going to be nitrogen fixing as well as having a deep tap root so they'll be able to sustain a dry summer a lot better. The rye is also going to be harvested and fed to the cattle. It's going to be treated with alkali to enhance the protein content of the crop. The farm chooses to grow winter oats rather than spring oats to ensure that the soil has got a crop on it to protect it through the winter. It also allows a big deep rooting system to be established through the wet um, conditions in the winter that it can venture further through the soil if the summer does dry off. Keep tuned, we're going to have three videos of Robert throughout the growing season and follow him along with his crops and his cattle. And in the west we'll be following Stuart Lamont, farm manager at Kinnebus Farm in the south of Isla. Kinnebus is a 2,000 hectare RSCB farm with 20 hectares of silage ground 300 hectares of hill pasture and the rest of grazing, where they run 400 Cheviot cross ewes, 30 highland cows and 75 simmental cross cows. With all stock out wintered and an area prone to liver fluke, the business is now testing pre-treatment to manage flucicide resistance and has adopted no fence collars to improve outwintering management, forage utilisation, avoid wet areas, whilst also benefiting chuff and peatland restoration. Stay tuned as we'll have three video updates this year from Stuart to see how he is managing fluke control and outwintering throughout the wetter months.